In this project, we'll show you how we turn scraps of wood into wooden building bricks. We wanted to try milling our own building bricks using scraps of wood and cut off pieces from our recent CNC milling projects. We wanted our bricks to be Lego compatible so we can use them in our builds and create unique objects that showcase wood grain. For most of our CNC projects, we use the desktop CNC milling machine from Bantam Tools. We started off by surfacing our stock to a desired thickness and cut out a set of 2x4 bricks. We used an eighth inch flattened mill to do a contour of each brick with a millimeter step down. We made 15 bricks with a piece of cherry wood that was about three and a half inches by four inches. Next up, we used a 1 16th inch flattened mill to do the bottom side using a pocket operation. This is creating the bottom side of the bricks and milling out the tubes that press fit in between the studs. After milling, there are noticeable burrs, so a bit of light sanding is needed to smooth out those edges. I did a test fit on a LEGO base plate to verify the tolerances are snug enough for milling the top side. I thought it'd be cool to use a LEGO base plate as the jig holder for milling the top side of the bricks. This allows for milling batches of bricks so we don't have to do one at a time. I used the PCB alignment bracket so that I could precisely position the base plate onto the spoil board. The Bantam Tool software uses the conductive spoil board and the tool bit to probe the alignment bracket so the origin is locked in place. I used a wide piece of double-sided nitto tape to adhere the LEGO base plate to the spoil board. Once secured to the corner origin, I could just snap fit the bottom side of the bricks onto the top side of the studs. They're actually nice and tight so they won't come off during the milling process. In the software, I just had to offset the Z height to accommodate for the thickness of the LEGO base plate. The top side milling operation took a bit longer because the diameter of the tool is smaller but necessary for making those studs. The top side didn't require any additional sanding and they're ready to go straight off the jig. Once finished, I removed them by pulling them off of the base plate with a fair amount of force. I was quite surprised they snap fit together perfectly and squared up nicely when stacking. Be sure to check out the learn guide for the recipe and a full breakdown of all the steps to CNC your own. I had a lot of fun milling these LEGO compatible bricks and glad I found a project that can utilize all those scraps of wood. I chose to make basic 2x4 bricks, but you could easily adapt this process to create unique shapes and maybe even those rare bricks that are hard to come by. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit.